So in this chapter, we will know how to advertise our application. So what is the goal of advertising? First of all, earning money. Why we should earn money inside of our application? Because most of the applications in Android are free. So if you want to have money from your application, you have to find some way to, to, be, to have money. And one way is to use advertising. OK? So the problem with advertising is that we have to have a control over the content. For instance, if you develop a game for child, you don't want a Tinder or something like that. Uh, advertising will help you. OK? So you have to restrict the access of your, your advertising. And moreover, you have to choose uh, your advertising network. There are a lot of advertising network, AdMob, double click for publisher, AdWire, Mob clicks, Mob for, and so on, and so on, and so on. OK, so I will just focus on one of these network, but you can consider that all the other network work the same. OK? So for instance, I decided to focus on AdMob. And um, how does AdMob work? AdMob provides two kinds of uh, advertising. The first one is a banner, which displays on the top of the, your application. And when the user clicks, you earn money. And the second one is interstitial um, uh, screen. So when you swap from activities to from one activity to another, a screen will be displayed uh, in between. And when the user click on the super farm, something like that, you will earn money. Okay. So why did I choose uh, AdMob? Because this is the one of the most used uh, uh, network uh, in Android. There are more than 700,000, seven, a lot of <laughs> application. And it helps to have an easy filtering of uh, adver advertising. So how we can set up? First of all, you have to declare each advertising. So let's suppose that you have an application with three advertise. You have to declare each of them. OK? And for each of them, you will have a unique identifier. OK? So then before using and displaying ads, you have to ask the permission of the internet and, for instance, is a, is a network state. OK? Why we have to have an access to the network state? Because if the network is down, the ad will not be displayed. OK? And now, what we can do is just modify the build.gradle in order to be able to connect with the network AdMob. Then, if we want to declare a banner, we just have to put the ID of the banner inside of res value string.xml. And then we have to modify the layout to add the ad. And we just do that by adding some view here, which is an ad view. And we specify the banner ID. And this is what we've done the link between your ad and the number of clicks, for instance. So if you want to trigger programmatically a, a, a banner, what we can do, by, we, we, we can just add a new builder. And this builder helps you to specify whether you are on the emulator, we are, this is uh, uh, for, child, uh, uni for child treatment, this is what is the gender of your, your, um, your user, and so on, and so on, and so on. Then you build a request, the request will be sent to the network, and the network will give you back some display to, to display to the user, and then this is it. OK? So if you want to, to have 
friendly ad, you have to resume the ad during the unresume and to destroy it during the undestroy. And the life cycle of an ad is quite simple. The ad, is, the ad is first loaded, then open, then closed, and so on. So you just have to follow these steps in order to, uh, to be able to, to track the life cycle of your application. Two things to, you have to know. The first one is you have a notification when the ad leaves the, the screen, and you have a notification when the app the ad uh, failed to load. Okay, so you can do something uh, to handle that. Okay, if you want to build an interstitial advertising, it's the same. You have to specify your ID and then to build the ad, the ad and then you can trigger it uh, by interstitial.show, for instance. So to sum up, when you add add uh, to your application, you will have dedicated uh, ID numbers, and these ID numbers will help you to earn money. So you don't have to use a lot of ID numbers because otherwise uh, you will have small clicks on each of your ads, and so you will not earn money. But you cannot use the same ID number for each ad. So you have to find the great balance between the two. Uh, it's a, a way to earn money from Android applications. And you have to, to deal with your conscience to, to provide such applications. And this is it.